Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome. Welcome to our worship service here at Progressive Community Church. We just thank God and give him glory, honor, and praise. Amen. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and the Bible says that we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are in the Lord's house. It's another day. Amen. As the songwriter says, another day's journey. And I'm glad about it. Amen. I'm glad to be in his service one more time. He didn't have to let me live. Didn't have to let me live. He didn't have to let us live. But I'm glad to be in the service of God one more time. Ready to give him glory. Ready to give him honor. Ready to give him praise. Ready to lift up the name of the Lord most high. For he is worthy. Our God is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be magnified. So wherever you are, wherever you're watching us from today, we, we pray that you would uh, 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 turn your home, turn your house, turn your car into a sanctuary this morning. Amen. Make it an altar. Hallelujah. Start in your heart. Make your heart a place of an altar, a place of sacrifice unto the Lord your God. And then bring your best sacrifice. Bring your best praise. Hallelujah. The best sacrifice you can bring is you. That's what Romans 12 tells us, that, that you ought to bring yourself as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. That's your reasonable service. That's how, in other words, that's how you worship God. We're coming today because we're going to worship God this morning. Amen. We're going to worship him in spirit and in truth. And as I say on each Sunday, I don't know how God does it. I don't know how God connects us in the spirit world. I don't know how he connects you to the sanctuary here, to your house or your car or wherever you are. But God has a way of working and God has a way of moving and God has a way of connecting us all together like fingers on a hand. Hallelujah. And bringing us together on one accord and when we're on one accord worshiping together, I just believe that something, hallelujah, magnificent happens. I believe that something glorious takes place in the atmosphere. I believe that something is getting ready to happen today, hallelujah, because the saints of God are coming together on one accord to lift up his holy name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. This sister Frida is going to come this morning and she's going to lead us in prayer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Praise to you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We glorify you, God. We come to you this morning. Thank you for the spirit of you, Father God. We thank you for the grace of you, Father God. We thank you for the vision of you, God. We thank you for your word that we stand on on a rock every single day, Lord. We thank you, Father, for that you are not lying. We know you love us yet still, Father God. We come to you this morning ushering in the spirit of you into this house, Lord. We usher in the spirit of you into your house, in your home, in your car, wherever you may be. We want to usher in the spirit of God. We thank you, Father God, for the spirit that you watched us as we slept throughout the night and you gave us another day to lift up your own mighty name. Yeah. We thank you, Father, that you gave us the spirit, Father God, and the vision just to lift your name up and hallow us. We glorify you. your mighty name. We thank you, Father God, that you gave us breath to praise your mighty name, to open our voice, our vocal cords, Lord God. We thank you for the vocal cords, Father God. We thank you that we can move from you, Father God. We thank you for the spirit that we can open up our minds and our hearts we thank you for the mental clarity to be able to praise your mighty name, Lord. We thank you, Father, thanks for the door that we can step in this sanctuary, Father God, and stand on your ground, Lord, and put your spirit into us, Lord. We thank you, Father God, that we can once again praise your mighty name. We come yeah. in this morning, Father God, listen, if anybody is dealing with mental, our yeah. physical challenges yeah. in their body, that they covered in the holy healing blood of you, God. We come in this morning to lift up anybody that's dealing with lack of, lack of food, Lack of clothing, yes. lack of yes. home, yes. lack of transportation, yes. lack of job, Father God. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise, Father God. Yes. We come to you this morning, lift up anybody that's dealing with a spirit of fear, Father God. Yes. Fear to step out in faith of you, Father God, to, to, let, to let you know that you are there, Father God. Just step out. 
just take your feet and just take a step out in faith. And he's there with you. We come in this morning, Father God, lifting up our city, our state, our nation, and our world totally into your hand. We give ourselves away to you this morning, Father God. We know that the Spirit is with us. We call on your grace to cover us once again, Father God. We just thank you for another glorious night day. We come to you this morning, Father God, lifting up the children, Father God. The children of the church, the children of the world, Father God, we continue to pray for them and teach them yeah. your word. Teach them your word as a rock. Teach them to grow in you. Yeah. Teach them to I pray in you. Teach them to know you, Father God. We come here this morning, thank you for growth, Father God. Yeah. Let us to grow for food outside, out of the growth of our minds and our hearts for you, Father God. Yeah. We just glorify your mighty name, God. Yeah. We give you all the glory, honor, and the praise. Yeah. We thank you that we can walk and talk in your name, Father God. We thank you that we can breathe in the spirit of you. Father God, we thank you that we know that you are with us, Father God, guiding us, Father God, and lifting us and keeping us, Father God. We glorify your mighty name this morning, Lord. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. Thank you, Father God, for that day to praise your mighty name, Father. Thank you, Father. We thank you for the sun of the sky. We thank you for the grass outside. We thank you for everything that goes on in our lives, Father God. Nothing is too small. Thank you for Father God. We thank you we can just walk and talk to those spirits. We pray for anybody that's dealing with anything that they know. Just take it to God. Take it to the throne. Whatever it is you're dealing with, take it to God. He will. He's there for you. We thank you for the spirit. We just thank you, Father. We can give you the glory and honor and praise. Thank you, Father.
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.
1 Samuel, the 17th chapter, the 40th verse. When you find it, say amen. 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 And he took his staff in his hand, and he chose him five smooth stones out of the brook, and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had even in a script. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistines. He went to fight them. Amen. You may be seated this morning as we meditate on a word today. Of thank God for his grace. Thank God for his grace. Thank God for his grace. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Spirit of
your strength. You are our hope. You are our redeemer. You are our deliverer. You are our salvation. We thank you for your son Jesus, the lamb that was slain before the foundations of the world. We declare the psalmist, now behold the lamb precious lamb of God. Why, why you love me so, I will never know. He's the precious lamb of God. But I thank you, God, that you love me. Even when I didn't know to love myself, God, you loved me. Even when nobody else loved me, God, you, you loved me. And you, you went to Calvary's cross and you died on Calvary just for me. One son said, just for me, Jesus came, you did it. You did it just for me, and for this I'm grateful, for this God, I stand before you, confessing, oh God, my faults, my failures, my sins, my iniquities. Lord, I, I come declaring that I ain't always got it right, God, that I missed the mark, that I'm in need of your salvation, I'm in need, oh God, of your mercy. Yes, God. Wash me and cleanse me, oh God. Cover me with the blood. The blood of the Lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. And God, I pray that you would, hallelujah, empty me of me and fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. Hide me now, God, behind thy old rugged cross. People see none of me, but they see all of thee. And God, I pray that the words of a mouth meditations of our heart pray that they're acceptable in thy sight oh lord our strength our most precious redeemer the church y'all said amen 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 thank god for his grace somebody today ought to just thank god for his grace my sisters and my brothers through COVID-19, God has changed the dynamics of the world that we live in. Uh, there are those who want to rush the world back to normal and rush society back to normal. Nothing in the world is the way that it used to be. You just look out over the world, you don't believe me, hallelujah, then, then look out over the world and you'll discover in the world that nothing in the world is the same way that it used to be. Don't believe me, ask the hurricane researchers. They would tell you that each season, they, they began with 21 names, hallelujah, on their list of hurricanes that they believe will come through the Gulf Coast and make its way up through the Carolina and on and eastward. They will tell you that there are 21 names and that this year, hallelujah, they're already at 23 uh, names and, and that the storm season ain't over yet. Hallelujah, researchers, hurricane researchers will tell you, hallelujah, they are now believing that, that they might even get through the Greek alphabet, hallelujah, and, and have to use a new naming system, hallelujah, because... Hallelujah, things ain't the way that they used to be. Glory to your name, God. Interesting to note that this is the year where there were three biblical names mentioned in the 21 names, hallelujah, of hurricanes, hallelujah. There was Hannah and Isaiah and Josephine. Josephine, hallelujah, the short of Josephine is Joseph. Hallelujah, you remember Hannah, don't you? Hannah was the one who, who could not conceive and she went and she cried out to God. Hallelujah. In fact, the, 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 the prophet in the temple thought that she was drunk and crazy. But she said, I ain't drunk. I'm just crying out for God because there is something that I have a need of. And God is the only one that can provide my need. Hannah, there's Hannah. Hallelujah. It ain't no coincidence that this is the year that the storm name, hallelujah, got three biblical names. There's Hannah and then there's Isaiah. There's Isaiah the prophet. Hallelujah. The one who was crying out hallelujah to the children of Israel that you gotta hallelujah seek justice. Hallelujah. Because God is bringing his judgment. Come on now. 
Hallelujah. But he didn't leave him there. Isaiah cast a vision that something could, could change if you just gave your life over to the master. In other words, you ain't always going to be in bondage. And that's good news for somebody today. Hallelujah. That feels like your life is in bondage. That feels like your life is trapped. It's good news today that God wants us to understand that we will not always be in bondage. Hallelujah. That God is able to rescue. That God is able to bring us out. That God is able to bring us through. That God is the God that can recreate new heavens and a new earth. Hallelujah. There is Hannah. There is Isaiah. And then there's Joseph. Hallelujah. Joseph, you know the story of Joseph. Hallelujah. God sent him before into Egypt. He didn't understand what God was doing, which is a life. Hallelujah. But God was preparing him. Hallelujah. To be a deliverer. Amen. Hallelujah. For the people. Hallelujah. In the midst of a pandemic. Glory to your name, God. And in this season, God is raising up Joseph and Josephines because God is speaking in the midst of this pandemic. And he is saying to you and to I that he's raising up deliverers in this season. All, oh, hallelujah, mentioned in this year where God is seeking to obtain our collective attention. Hallelujah. And the sad reality is, hallelujah, that we still ain't listening. Come on. My God, the sad reality is that all of this is interesting because God says to us that, that as we cry out to God, that God will hear our faintest cry He'll answer by and by. What I believe God is sharing with us in this season is to repent and to be born again. The world ain't the way that it used to be. And some people are rushing, hallelujah, to get back to the way things were, hallelujah, or go back to the status quo, hallelujah, and they're not listening. God, don't believe me, hallelujah, schools all across the world, hallelujah, are functioning in a hybrid system, some are virtual, hallelujah, that means you're going to school at home, hallelujah, some are in person, but, but it's a virtual and, and, and a hybrid system, even in school, don't believe me, I was just listening, hallelujah, to the radio the other day, and I heard, hallelujah, that there were some college students that were expelled because they were congregating, hallelujah, they, they were expelled from school because even in college, college is different. Hallelujah. I don't know if I could have walked around college, hallelujah, without going to a party. Hallelujah. But they can't do that now because things have changed. Hallelujah. In fact, it's changed so much that now, hallelujah, the internet, hallelujah, will break down on you and slow down on you. And, uh, and Zoom is now a household word. Hallelujah. Just eight months ago, most of us didn't know what Zoom meant. Hallelujah. We thought it meant to run fast. Hallelujah. But now, it's a household name because things, everything is changing. Hallelujah. And it's changing all around us. COVID-19 has affected the budgets of governments all across the world. I was on a call the other day trying to give recommendations on, on uh, to a government on how to close a budget gap that is over one billion dollars and where resources are going to come from to fill the gap or what services will have to disappear to a people that desperately need them in times like these. Yeah, basketball teams are playing games in bubbles. Hallelujah, and other sporting events are happening with no fans in the stands and no fans in the gallery. Hallelujah, finally there, there is, hallelujah, this issue about mail-in voting. Hallelujah, 
Uh, they're trying to tell us that you might not be able to make it to your polling place. And now there is this thing about the USPS and if they'll be able to get mail to you on time. Ah, one thing I'll say about voting, if you, hallelujah, haven't registered, get registered to vote. Amen. Hallelujah. If you haven't registered because you can't vote if you ain't registered. Hallelujah. And so if you ain't registered, hallelujah, and you're the age to vote, take time to go and register. Hallelujah. I'm across the pulpit, so I can't tell you who to vote for, but, but if you catch me on the other side of the pulpit, I'll give you some advice. But I'll tell you that if you're going to vote, vote for somebody that has your values. Hallelujah. Vote for someone that believes the way that you believe. Hallelujah. About a country and about a society. Vote for someone that has your best interest at heart. Now here's the sad reality about all of the ones that are running. Hallelujah. You are not going to find everything you want, all of your values in either of them candidates. I'm going to tell you that right now. Hallelujah. You're not going to find it in them. Hallelujah. But that don't mean that you shouldn't vote. Hallelujah. That means you should still get out there and exercise your right to vote because there are those that want to maintain the status quo. There are those that want to take us backwards in life. There are those that want to take us backwards in society. Yes, we've come a long way. But we still got a long, 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 long way to go. Glory to your name, God. Yes. We've come a long way and things have happened. Hallelujah. And doors have opened. Hallelujah. But 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 in this season, we have to be open to God working things out in our lives, hallelujah, not in the way that we think they should be worked out, but we gotta, we gotta leave room for God, hallelujah, to work things out uh, the way he wants to work them out uh, in our lives. Some of us get so caught up, hallelujah, in the tradition and how things used to be that we that we miss out on what God wants to, hallelujah, have happen in our lives. It is with this backdrop that we enter the battlefield with David and the children of Israel. On last week, David, we saw that he refused to take the king's armor into battle with him as the king gave him permission to go and to fight Goliath. Hallelujah. Because he understood, David did, that with that God was trying to fight this battle in a new way. Glory to your name, God. And for somebody, that's the simple message of the text today. Hallelujah. You're going through what you're going through. Hallelujah. Because God is trying to help you fight your battle like David uh, in a new way. Here it is. It's in the text. It's unconventional. Hallelujah. God is trying, hallelujah, to use some unconventional methods, uh, and hallelujah, and means uh, that, that so that you, hallelujah, will take God uh, out of the box that you placed him in. Hallelujah. In verse 40, we see that David looks to fight this battle in what appears to be an unconventional way. The text says that David takes his staff in his hand. Hallelujah. And, 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 and if you know anything about a shepherd and a staff, you'd be shouting right now. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. He put down the king's armor and he picked up his staff. Hallelujah. The staff is a, it is a long stick with a crook at the top of it. Hallelujah. The staff for the shepherd and the sheep was used for direction. Glory to your name, God. He used the staff to guide the sheep and to keep them from going in the wrong direction, which means that the staff keeps the sheep safe. 
Glory to your name, God. Just like lines in the road help us to understand which side of the road to drive on the shepherd's staff helps keep the sheep out of harm's way. Glory to your name, God. When David saw the staff, he understood that God was directing his life uh, and ordering his steps. Hallelujah. And somebody today, uh, what the staff means to us uh, is that God wants to be the one uh, that orders your steps. Somebody ought to shout, order my steps, Lord. Hallelujah. The, the rod, the staff, uh, is for direction. In other words, when you see the staff, uh, you ought to know that God is sending you uh, in the direction uh, that he wants to send you. The staff then is for direction, but the staff is also for deliverance. Somebody shout deliverance. Hallelujah. The staff is for direction, but the staff is also for deliverance. Hallelujah. The staff, hallelujah, helps us to understand that God is still a deliverer. Hallelujah. You you remember, hallelujah, when David was explaining to the king, because the king looked at him and said, man, you got a lot of heart, huh, but you can't beat him. Hallelujah. And then David began to share his testimony. Hallelujah. And we said that's why it's good that you ought to share your testimony. Hallelujah. Because David began to tell him, hallelujah, that, that one day I, I was out watching the sheep uh, and a bear came along uh, and God delivered me uh, out of the hand of the bear. Uh, one day I was out in the field watching the sheep and a lion came along and God delivered me uh, out of the hand uh, of the lion uh, and the crook uh, in the staff uh, means that anytime I'm in trouble uh, has anybody ever been in trouble? Anytime I'm in a dark place uh, has anybody ever been in a dark place uh, anytime I'm in a pit uh, has anybody ever been down uh, in a pit uh, that God can reach down uh, and he ain't got to go down uh, but he can reach down uh, and pull me out uh, and bring deliverance for my life uh, that's what God hallelujah wants to do in this season Hallelujah. He wants to bring deliverance uh, in your life. Is there anybody ready uh, to be delivered by God? Uh, I don't care what you're going through right now. Uh, I don't care what you're faced with in life. Uh, I'm here to speak over your life uh, that you have a God on your side that's able to deliver. Somebody ought to shout deliverer. Y'all don't believe me. Somebody ought to shout deliverer. Yeah. I need at least two or three people. Hallelujah. That's down right now. And life seems to be getting the best of you. I need at least two or three people that, that know that you know. Uh, hallelujah. That you're in a bad spot. Uh, and you need the hand of God. Uh, to come down and reach out. Uh, I need two or three people. So much of I'm in a bad place, but Lord, I thank you. I realize that you are still a deliverer. Is there anybody here that understands that he is my deliverer? He pulled me out of the places that I got myself in. Thank you, Lord. Somebody ought to just thank him for being a deliverer. Somebody ought to just thank him for being a deliverer. Somebody ought to give him glory for being a deliverer. Somebody ought to thank him for being a deliverer. Somebody ought to thank him for being a deliverer. Somebody ought to thank him for being a deliverer. He's my deliverer. Hallelujah. He, he gives direction. Staff means that God gives direction. 
But the staff also means that God is my deliverer. But then the staff means that, that I have connection to God. Here it is, the staff serves as a sign of connection. The staff, the shepherd uses the staff. And when he uses the staff with the sheep, he's able to touch the sheep. And when the shepherd touched the sheep with the staff, the sheep feel like they are always connected to the shepherd. Any time that the shepherd took his staff and he touched the sheep, it felt like the hand of the shepherd was on the sheep. And what God is saying is that my hand is on you. And I got my hand with you. In other words, you can sing the song. Hallelujah. I am not alone. You can sing the song. The Lord is my shepherd. He leads and guides me. His hand on me. And when the shepherd touched the sheep in this way, the sheep understand that the shepherd really cares about them. Is there anybody here that knows that you have a shepherd? He's the good shepherd. He's the great shepherd. You have a shepherd who watches over you. You have a shepherd who keeps you and it made the sheep feel special to know that they have a shepherd that cares about them and places his hand on them. Anybody in this season needs to know that the hand of the Lord is on your life. Is the connection and it's an extension of the arm of God. So many times you see the staff in the Bible, understand that it's the hand of God and it's reaching out and it's touching me. And anybody here feel the hand of God moving? In your life, hallelujah, because when it touches you, it makes you whole, when it touches you, it makes everything alright, is there anybody here that needs a touch from the Lord, just one touch, that's all I need, he touched me, and oh, the joy, in unstable places. Hallelujah. On the battlefield of life, I'll find myself in unstable situations. Y'all looking at me crazy. Let me see if I can help you. Hallelujah. Just this week, hallelujah, for some of y'all, it was yesterday, you were dealing with unpredictable people. I ain't gonna get no amens in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In fact, some of y'all woke up with some um. 
Glory to your name, God. Unpredictable people. And it's like tackle and hide. Hallelujah. They go to be in one way. They wake up a whole new person. Glory to you. They're unpredictable and unstable. Keep looking at me because it might be you. Glory to your name, God. Don't let nobody know, hallelujah, that you're the one that's the unpredictable person. But God is saying that I want to bring some stability into your life. Is there anybody here that needs a pastor in life? God is saying that I want to bring pastor in your life. God is saying, hallelujah, that there are some unpredictable people, that life is filled with uncertainty, that life is filled with insecurity, that life is filled with people that are wavering uh, and vacillating. Uh, hallelujah. They go round and round and round. And if you catch them on the wrong day, hallelujah, you're going to get the wrong thing. Glory to your name, God. Put the staff in his hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It speaks to him in the midst of this instability. And it reminds David that you have, hallelujah, someone that you can lean on. Glory to your name, God. In the midst of doubt, you got somebody you can lean on. In times of uncertainty, you got somebody you can lean on. In times when, when you feel insecure, you have somebody that you can lean on. In times when people are unpredictable, you have somebody that you can lean on. Is there anybody in this place that understands that God... It's somebody you can wait on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. David said, I picked up my staff because my staff lets me know that when I'm out here, I have someone I can lean on. And somebody today, you need to know that you can lean on the Lord in times of uncertainty. That you can lean on Jesus when everything else around you is falling apart, that you can lean on Jesus when life gets unpredictable. When David picks up the staff, David is really saying, I've learned how to lean on Jesus. I've learned how to trust in him. David says, I've learned how to trust in the Lord. For if I trust him, he will provide. Is there anybody here that experienced the provision of the Lord? Is there anybody here that's ever been on rocky terrain? And the Lord wants you to stand on rocky terrain. Walking tall, even when everybody else around me is falling down. Even though I'm on uneven footing in life, it is the Lord that keeps me balanced and I'm walking upright. David says, when I see the staff, I understand that I ain't fighting this battle all by myself. I got a God who sits in the right and sits in with me. I got a God who sits in the right and sits in with me. I got a God who sits in the right and sits in with me. I got a God who sits in the right and sits in with me. I got a God who sits in the right and sits in with me. I got a God who sits in the right and sits in with me. I'm walking with God, and with God I get my equilibrium. I'm no longer a spiritual vertical. I'm not tipping over to the left or the right. But with God, I get my
You don't have a place that you call home. Hallelujah. You don't have a church home. Hallelujah. And the Spirit has pricked your heart today and, and He's told you that this is the place, the rest of Community Church, the place that you should call home. Because every Christian needs a church. Amen. Every fish needs water. Amen. Every Christian needs a church to call home. If that's you, won't you come today? That may be somebody watching by way of social media. You receive this word in your heart. You know, today God is speaking to you. Let's pray with you today for salvation. Hallelujah. Just repeat after me. Dear God, I know that I am a sinner. Please come into my life and save me the best I know how. I'm giving my life to you. For you are my Lord. You are my God. And you are my deliverer. I praise you today for the work you did for me at Calvary. I thank you that you made a way just for me. And I give my life completely to your hands. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Have you said that prayer and you meant it? Hallelujah. The angels in heaven are rejoicing for you right now. And so we're going to give a prayer of thanks. Glory to your name, God. Father, we thank you for these souls, oh God, who come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior. We pray, oh God, that you would lead, guide, direct, and protect them in this season, God. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, that they get connected to a church home, oh God, where they can experience your presence. Experience your love, experience your joy, and experience your peace. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. All across the sanctuary, we give God some praise. Hallelujah. Our word is the last the door. Now is the time where we sow seeds. We sow seeds that progress to be the seed in your hand. I love you.
We thank you for your children and their obedience to your word. Now, God, for their obedience, so back into their bosom, some hundred, some thirty, some sixty-fold, God, so back into the bosoms of your children. But God, you're an unlimited God, and we won't place any limits on you. We simply say, however you want to bless your people, to have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, amen. Let's give the Lord a hand, clap of praise. Amen, amen. It's so awesome to see all of you worshiping with us here in the sanctuary and all of those worshiping with us online. We thank you for sharing with us on today. You could have gone anywhere else to worship, but you came here and we don't take that lightly. And we say thank you for coming and sharing your day with us today. Amen? Amen. Our announcements for this week every day at 6 a.m., we have our morning prayer, 6 a.m. prayer, amen. Our theme for this month is praise. Consider joining us at 6 a.m. on the Progressive Community Church's prayer line. On Wednesdays at noon, we have Bible study, amen. We call it One Hour of Power, amen. One Hour of Power, we call it Word on Wednesday. Come and get filled with the Word of God. We're still in the book of Genesis looking at the story of Joseph. And now his brother and his father, hallelujah, but it's still all contextual lies about the story and the life of Joseph and what God wanted to do in his life. So join us Wednesday at noon for one hour. And then this Thursday, this Thursday, uh, we have food boxes that we'll uh, be selling. It's the, it's the food box uh, CSA program, Community Supported Agriculture. Uh, we have $20 and $40 boxes. Hallelujah, if you're so inclined, why don't you connect with us on this Thursday. Hallelujah, connect with us this Thursday and, and obtain a food box. Amen? Amen, amen. If our hearts and minds don't want to court and understand, hallelujah. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God. The church. Oh, 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 the church.